the New York New Jersey Harbor is full of millions of plastic particles. That according to the latest New York New Jersey Baykeeper report. There are about 165 million plastic particles floating at any given time in the estuary. The nonprofit, which focuses on water quality issues from as far north as the Tappan Zee Bridge to Sandy Hook Bay, collected samples from March through August of 2015. Prior to World War II, we were using glass and stainless steel. We weren't using these single-use materials. Like plastic water bottles, utensils, and grocery bags. And after World War II, plastic, plastic manufacturing exploded. And we be, became obsessed with uh, this lifestyle of ease and, and uh, mobility. How do millions of plastic particles end up in the water? Factors like improper waste management practices, littering, and stormwater runoff, says communications associate Sandra Miola. When there's a heavy rainfall event, the plastics that are on the street go down the drain into the sewer system. They're picked up by maybe a little trickle of water. A little trickle of water turns into a river, turns into the bay, and turns into the ocean. Animals can eat the plastic particles. Ultimately, we can too, insists field tech Mitch Mickley. Plastics are photodegradable and they break down into infinitely smaller pieces. And research is starting to show that the plastics are ending up in the seafood that we're eating. The nonprofit uses Manitrol Net. It's designed to collect material that floats on the surface of the water. They collected 18 different samples from various locations throughout the New York, New Jersey Harbor. The team then took the samples back to the lab at Rutgers University. We use an oxidation process where we use sulfuric acid and we essentially oxidize all of the organic material and we're left with the plastics. About 85% of the particles counted were microplastics. Microplastics are any plastic particles that are less than five millimeters, which is about the size of a grain of rice. New York, New Jersey Baykeeper will collect samples again this spring. In Keyport, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.